Now a 66 million year old discovery made its way into Winona this morning and it could be one of the rarest dinosaur finds on Earth. ABC 6 News reporter Caroline Weir spent the morning at Winona State Science Laboratory Center learning what makes this discovery so rare. Behind me is Winona's very own, very cold version of Jurassic Park as crews work to finish installation on what researchers say could be a true mummy dinosaur. It's extremely rare, right? There are only a handful of these in the entire world, and we're going to have one right here in southeastern Minnesota. Nicknamed Medusa, the Edmontosaurus was uncovered by hand along a cliff in North Dakota's Hell Creek Formation, where crews spent multiple seasons collecting data, digging, and moving the fossil. Due to its massive size, crews had to remove a window just to get it inside. We're missing the tail, and we're missing the head, but the center part of the body here is about 12 feet long. So we think that when the animal was alive, it was maybe 20 or 25 feet long. Researchers say early signs point to preserved skin and soft tissue, classifying it as a dinosaur mummy, something found in only a handful of dinosaur fossils worldwide. There are only a handful of dinosaur fossils in the world that show this kind of preservation. A discovery now shaping how students and researchers here study Earth's ancient past. It's in the Hell Creek Formation, uh, which is the late Cretaceous. So this is uh, right before the dinosaurs went extinct. Potential data from this fossil may reveal how the environment shifted during the period, offering clues scientists use to understand environmental change today. A rare find now becoming part of Winona State's scientific legacy. It's always been my goal to kind of complete the thing that I started when I was a student, which is like getting some vertebrate paleontology into the university. Researchers say they expect analysis and preparation to take around a decade, with Medusa becoming a long-term project for staff, students, and researchers here at Winona State. In Winona, Caroline Weir, ABC6 News.